Welcome to this tutorial on augmenting the navigation and file management capabilities of Excite Pro. As the title of this video suggests, this is accomplished on the other tab. In this tutorial, you'll learn some special navigation tricks such as inserting a breadcrumb trail, custom tailoring your site's navigation bar to your liking, and modifying your sitemap. You also pick up some file management tricks such as adding new files with the file manager, altering how your files are named, and choosing exactly how you want your page titles displayed. Let's begin with our super secret navigation tips, starting with leaving your users a breadcrumb trail, which adds a professional touch to any site. Here's an example of a breadcrumb trail from Amazon.com. It can help you easily access the parent levels of your current page, which can be a godsend for navigating those sites that have many levels of subpages. Also, since it creates keyword-rich interlinking between pages in your site, it can also help your search engine rankings. Because in order for people to navigate your site, they have to find it first. So how do we add one of our very own? Well, let's head over to the other tab where all the action is today and then click on Breadcrumb Trail. Now, we've got a few different options, starting with placement. We can have the trail appear either at the top or bottom of the page. If not satisfied with the font and font size, we can change those elements here. We can also make it bold and underline the links if desired. If you want different colors for normal, hovered, and visited links, you can specify them here. So, as an example, let's change the hover color to dark slate gray. Keep in mind that you can pick a custom character or characters to separate your levels, as well as choose the alignment. We can also choose whether to have the last breadcrumb linked to itself, as well as whether we want the trail to appear on your home page. As for the text itself, you can use either the page titles or your specified link text. In other words, this one or this one. Finally, you can attach some kind of text description to the beginning of the trail if you wish. On a related note, Let's play around with our normal navigation bar, the one we set up on the Page Layout tab. As you've noticed, basically all you have to do is check a box, and Excite Pro takes care of the rest. But you may be asking yourself, can the appearance of the menu be adjusted? As a matter of fact, it can. Back on our other tab, just choose Navigation Bar. The font section should look pretty familiar from the breadcrumb trail dialog. As you play with the settings, keep in mind that you can go back to factory defaults by choosing the blank line at the top of the list. And just like the breadcrumb trail, colors work the same way. One neat thing you can change are bullets. For both the main headings as well as all subheadings, you have a vast array of bullets to choose from. Again, choose the blank line up at the top to have no bullet at all. Finally, you can choose the amount of space in pixels between your items, both for main and subheadings. Let's wrap up our chat on customizing our navigation with the sitemap. Just as with the navigation bar, we're given a basic one by clicking a checkbox but we can custom tailor it in the sitemap dialog. Here we can change the name and file name info, as well as decide in which navigation menu or menus we'd like the sitemap to appear. We also have the choice of whether to include an alphabetical sitemap in addition to the standard one. Now, one thing you'll notice is that we have design and source tabs here, meaning that you can edit your sitemap just as if it were any other page. So, if you want to add headings, images, other links, etc. Be our guest. Watch as I add an image here. 
just don't remove the sitemap body object as it provides the code necessary for the sitemap to work. Now, on to our file management settings. Let's start by giving the File Manager button a click. This is where you can add any needed files for the site. As you can see, images are automatically added as you import them, but these can be any type of file. Say, for example, that you wanted to make a PDF file available for download on your site. Simply click Add, and then navigate to your file. Once it's in the system, you can easily link to it from your pages by using the right-click contextual menu. You can also use this dialog to rename or delete files. On a related note, it's also easy to adjust how Excite Pro names your web page files. This is done by clicking the File Naming button. In the File Name Settings dialog, you can specify the default file extension, decide whether you want the file name to be all lowercase, and you can select the character to replace spaces and other invalid characters. With all changes, you can preview the name right here. What's cool about this is that the naming structure of all files, both present and future, can be changed on the fly. And if desired, you can also change the name of your CSS file. And finally, you can use the Page Title Settings button to customize how you want the page name displayed at the top of the window. You can show the site title and then the page title, or vice versa. Or you can even leave the page title off entirely. If you choose to include both, you can select the separator character or characters, and should you prefer, you can also leave off the page title for the home page only. So here's what the home page title bar looks like now. Even after conquering navigation and file management, you probably notice that we've only scratched the surface of the other tab's offerings. Stay tuned for our next tutorial on the other tab, which will cover items such as contact details, links pages and privacy statements, and other goodies like pop-ups and redirects.